Hey yo, so my skin is fucked up. It has been summer, well not summer yet, it's spring, but it's been dark and cold. Uh, I just started getting warm again and the sun has finally been coming out. Uh, so I've been inside and my skin has not getting, gotten any sunlight, and so it's kind of miserable. And I think that the sunlight is actually part of it. I think that the lack of sunlight is actually part of what's fucking up my skin. Now... Uh, to totally more important, much more important, uh, YouTube <clears throat> tried to take down my CNN video from last year. Y'all remember that one? I posted the CNN article, uh, the CNN ar article about the, uh, the E word that we're not allowed to talk about anymore. Uh, well, YouTube striked it and I appealed it and they let it stay up. So I'm actually very happy about that. That's actually very good things to be happening. A very good thing to be happening. Uh, in other news, I I have so many books I can't fucking read them all. <laughs> I have I have legit a stack of fifty books, and it's like every time I read, every time I finish reading like one book, I have I still have fifty more books. Uh, with that said. I'm about to be finished with Alan Bloom's uh, The Closing of the American Mind. I have fewer than 100 pages left, and I can read... Uh, well, I mean, the last chapter is like 50 or 60 pages, so... Uh, <laughs> it's pretty long. But 10 to 20 pages a day, I can have it done in less than two weeks. Uh, I, and keep in mind, 10 to 20 pages is not much at all, and I'll read 10 to 20 pages out of like six different books in a day. Uh, it's more to, to powerball through the, the books and also to keep my mind flexible. Uh, <clears throat> I, and also to keep me from getting fucking bored. <laughs> uh, so, yes, so far, the uh, uh, Alan Bloom is actually really, really good. Uh, uh, he was recommended to me by James Pawson. James Pawson is a, a YouTuber with many more subscribers than I have and he's actually a really chill dude he's he's pretty cool uh he's not stupid he's very intelligent and unfortunately he lives in canada uh, which is not a good place to be living right now is there any place that's good to be living right now it's kind of the whole world's kind of fucked um <clears throat> so anyway yeah alan bloom is really good though he's really really good he he legit just lit like photographic memory of all philosophy and he's in 1987 putting it all together and being like hey let's stop destroying our civilization uh however with this book i have been thinking uh you know sticks uh actually says that uh you know we aren't actually nearing the civilizational collapse that we all think that we are i I still think we are, but I'm considering the possibility that it is just a uh, smaller cycle that we are going through. Uh, I do have another one of Tarl's, well, Styx's books. Tarl, Tarl. Uh, I do have another one of his books, and it discusses these uh, cycles, these patterns. And, uh, well, he's actually quite extensive about it. So there are small cycles and there are big cycles. The civilizational collapse would be the end of the big cycle. But given what I've read in Richard Weaver uh, from 1948, uh, as well as Alan Bloom from 1987, I, I think we may actually be uh, in a smaller cycle right now. It's a possibility. Uh, I mean, the, the way the rest of the world looks... I, it really looks like we're we're at the brink of collapse, but it also looks like a smaller cycle, and it looks uh, kind of optimistic al almost. So that's good. Uh, that's about all I really wanted to talk about today. Thank you for watching. Peace.